for task number two, the pattern cut. Your objective will be to cut a circular pattern out of a two-ply piece of gauze. You are given one grasper and one pair of scissors. You can use the scissors and grasper in either hand and can even switch hands with the instruments during the exercise. Your accuracy must be within five millimeters of the pattern that is on the gauze. As mentioned, the gauze is two-ply, but only the top ply needs to be cut in order to judge your accuracy, but many people find it easier to cut both plies of the gauze. The time for the exercise starts when the gauze is first touched by the instrument and ends once the circle is free from the square gauze, and the average time to completion is 98 seconds. Some ways you can improve your performance on this task are to start at the 5 o'clock position of the gauze, and work in a clockwise direction first to the 11 o'clock position, then return to the 5 o'clock position and complete the cut moving in a counterclockwise direction. The reason for this is that the left hand can maintain traction on the pattern to assist with the cutting throughout the exercise. If a different pattern or approach to the gauze is taken, it can be more difficult to allow the left hand to provide traction throughout the exercise. We recommend that you use this pattern and make sure the scissors stay in the dominant hand throughout the exercise without switching. Also note that the scissors, although curved, do not always curve inward to follow the circular pattern, but at certain portions may actually curve outward to assist with starting the uh, cutting of the pattern and then progressively curve more inward to finish the release of the circular pattern. This is task number two, the pattern cut. The gauze I've placed here is a training gauze representing the allowable accuracy on the cut of the circle pattern. For this exercise, you are given one grasper and one pair of scissors. You can use the grasper or the scissors in either hand and you can switch hands during the exercise from dominant to non-dominant hand or back again but this will affect your speed at which you can conduct the exercise. Also note that the gauze you're provided with is two ply, but only the top ply with the pattern on it will determine your accuracy. And so you do not need to cut both ply of the gauze if you do not wish to do so. The average time for this exercise is 98 seconds. Move the training gauze out of the way to reveal the actual gauze that you'll be tested on. And as you can see, the black line is uh, only about one millimeter in width, but your accuracy again is, as demonstrated on the training gauze, about five millimeters. We recommend for this exercise that you start the cut at the five o'clock position of the circle and then work in a clockwise direction from this starting point. At this point, it is easier to turn the scissors outward against the curvature of the circle to initiate the cut along the black line. As you proceed, you will then flatten the scissors out and eventually turn them inward to follow the pattern of the circle. And at this point, we will switch the scissors around to follow the curvature. Be careful to use your left hand for traction at the appropriate points along the pattern. As you work your way upward to approximately the 11 o'clock position. Once you reach here, the left hand can now be used for retraction without changing the hand using the scissors. If you were to start the pattern at the 5 o'clock position and cut clockwise first, the left hand would not be helpful for retraction when you came back to accomplish this half of the circle. That's why it's recommended to start here and work clockwise first and then come back and work counterclockwise to complete the pattern. You may find that closing the scissors only partially will allow you to stay on course without cutting fully and replacing the scissors each time. It can help improve your accuracy 
and your speed at which you're able to complete the exercise. You may not cut exactly on the black line throughout the entire pattern, but these small deviations from the line do not significantly impact the score that you'll receive at the completion of the exercise. You just cannot exceed the five millimeters width of accuracy that was demonstrated on the training gauze. At this point, the exercise is complete. Timing for this exercise starts as soon as you touch the gauze and is complete as soon as the circle is removed from the gauze square.